Hey guys, you're watching Team APS. Paul here. Alec here. And this time I got something a little weird on eBay. Yeah, these apparently contain exactly 30 monsters, 10 spells, and 10 traps. And that's all we know. Like literally all we know. Just basic math. So we're gonna open them and we have to play with exactly what we get inside. It's gonna be a pretty interesting duel. And while I don't know what's in here, I can tell it's already stronger than Paul's, so. All right, drop a like and uh, let's hop into the duel. Okay, so got my unmarked box. It is in a Ziploc bag. That's not a warning of things to come. All right, guys, let's get to it. I feel cards up. Oh, what's that now? If they're in a Ziploc bag, classic. You, are, you can tell these are gonna be some good cards. LOD Robolade, this is from Legacy of Darkness, so not a good start. All right, we got uh, Burning Land. Okay, so upside down cards already. That's, that's great. Zexo and Trust. Two Zexal and Trust. Boar Soldier. Okay. Sunvine Crossbreed? Uh oh no. Defender the Magical Knight. I think some of the stuff came from a Spellcaster deck. Definitely. Cyber Angel Ben 10. Oh, this is not good. Cyber Angel Dakini. So if we get our. Oh, wait, these are all the spells. There's no Cyber. Oh no. Giga. Uh, oh god. I don't even think I can actually summon that in here. Valkyrian the Mag. Oh no. So there's a random mutant card that probably doesn't have any other mutants. Armored Lizard. The Fiend Mega Cyber. Just gotta retry it. Perialis, a Synchro, Empress of Blossoms. If I have a tuner, I'll try. We have Abyss Splash. Abyss Super Splash. So this is the CXZ, so maybe we can like make them both. I, I don't know how many level fives they even have. The mutant bite shoes. Back to the old stuff. Scrap Dragon, though. I don't remember seeing any tuners. Hydro get on with only one. Okay, there's only one. Well, can't use its effect. House of Adhesive Tape and Featherwind. The Elemental Hero Trap, where I have no Elemental Heroes in the whole deck. Crusadia Vanguard. Cybernetic Over. There are literally no Cybernetic cards in here. This is bad. This is. The best thing in this deck are the vanilla monsters, and they're gonna have to carry me because there's not a single other thing in here I can really play. Compulsion of. Oh man, we're gonna have that kind of duel today. And a pot of avarice if that ever ends up live. Okay, so. <sighs> Hopefully, Paul got worse. Whatever. Let's gonna see how it goes. Wish me luck. Get in the duel. All right, so we've got our decks. Um, oh, this is old faithful right here. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, good luck, duelist. I seven. seven. That's very average. Okay. Always roll sevens with these. Seven. Very average. Eight. Eight above average. Beat it. Ten. Ten. All right. Your pick, duelist. Average. I'll take it. Come on. Right, check this out. So I'm gonna do a T set, right? Uh huh. And I'm gonna pass my turn. Okay. And establish my dominance. I draw. Oh my lord. Bring it on, chump. Also set. Beta okay. move. All right, your move. Mm -hmm. That's that beta Gemini energy over there. Draw. Oh, this is. Oh, you going down? Oh, you going down? But check this out. I'm gonna flip summon my Dark Eye Nightmare. I'm also gonna normal summon my Armored Lizard. Dark Eye Nightmare. Attack is phase down. You destroyed my Robo Lady. That thing was weak. <laughs> <laughs> and then Armored Wizard attacks 1500. I will end my turn. I draw. I set. Oh. And I pass. Running scared, huh? I'll also set one, one spell here. Fine, fine, fine. All right, Dark Eye Nightmare attack is new face down. You attack my pretty wildcat. Yeah, even less defense. <laughs> then Armored Wizard will attack directly. And then I'll set a card face down. My turn. I draw. This game's already over, guys. I'll set another monster and pass my turn. Draw for turn. So I'm going to tribute this monster. Oh, we're tribute summoning? For my Luster Dragon number dose. Wow. Enter battle. You know what? I can, I can, I can probably get away with the risk here. Armor Lizard, attack his face now. You attack. My Infernity Conjurer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get two Infernity monsters back to back. Nightmare attack for 17. Then Luster Dragon attacks for 2,400. I'm at 900 and have not gotten to play a card. Yeah, we'll set a card face down and turn. Draw, set, and pass. 
This game is over. Enter battle. Battle entered. Must the dragon attack his face down. You attack my bite shoes. This will be the first effect I activate. I can change one of your monsters' battle positions. It won't matter. The dark eye nightmare to defense. And then my bite shoes are destroyed. That's fine. Armored lizard. To don't my die. Okay, I take 15. <laughs> I resolved an effect and it was my bite shoes. All right, this time you can take the first move. All right. That's I'll fine. take my extra card. Please, a better hand. I'm gonna start off with the same play I made the first turn. I'm going to set one card face down and one other, and I'll end my turn. T set. I draw. Set a monster and pass my turn. Six. This is a repeat of the last game. A little bit, yeah. Draw for turn. Oh, what is this? I'll normal summon Urby. Ur Beat stick. Enter battle. Urby. Attack his face down. 1500. Pandemonium watch. Whoa. Me. As long as there remains space on the field, my pandemonium can't be destroyed by card effects. But more importantly, has 1800 defense. All right, so you're not a complete pushover. I'll yes. my turn. This time, I won't lose. Huh. Okay, no. Might have been a tall order, but I'll normal summon my Hydro Get On. Hydro Get On, attack is your RB. Now we got a game going. Yeah, damage. I'll take 100 damage. All right, let's draw for turn. I'll normal summon Salaman Great Fennec. It has 1600, so I'll just enter battle and crash into your Hydra get on. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll set a monster face down. And a spell or trap card. Your move. I'll pass. I'll draw and do it. Switch my Pandemonium Watcher to attack the mission. And flip my Boar Soldier. Maybe I can make a Synchro Summon. Ooh, I can't. They're not but... saying, they're not doing this. <laughs> But I can when I summon my gluttonous Reptolphin Crethus. That's a lot of words. So, by tuning my Pandemonium Watchbear and gluttonous Reptolphin, I'll conduct a synchro summon with this trashy eBay deck to make the level seven Perialis, Empress of Blossoms. Re my gluttonous Reptolphin Crethus has an effect. If it's sent to the graveyard as synchro material, I can make the synchro monster that used this card gain 200 attack and defense for each card currently in your hand. Whoa! How many cards do you have in your hand? I have four. And she gains 800 attack. She is a whopping 2,400. Oh. Perialis Empress attack is set monster. Ah, oh, my dragon. It's no longer dwelling in any cave. Attack directly. I gotta take it. For 2,000. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Next, I'll set one card and pass my turn. Draw. A set. That means my boar soldier's gone down to a thousand again. Two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw a duelist. Jesus, my deck hates me. I'll continue the offensive. Normal summon Skull Knight number two. Perialis attack a set monster. Goodbye, barrel. And now attack directly for 1,000 with Skull Knight number two. I gotta take it. And then I'll attack you directly with my boar soldier with its full 2,000 attack points. For now. Then I'll set a trap card. Your move. This next card, it has to win me this game. I know what it is. Draw! I didn't know what it was. Normal summon. My ya Yamo, my Yamori Mori. And I'll enter battle. Wait, what does it do? Yamori Mori, attack paralysis. Right, so, so you have a response? I don't have a response. Then it will hit. And you'll take 24. And I'll take 2400 damage. And I'll end my turn. Why well, draw? I'll attack you directly with my boar soldier for 2000 points of damage. Now, I can use. No, actually, I had, oh, oh, I, I, okay. I, I had a bunch of cards that literally couldn't be used. All right, for the third and final game duels, who gets the first move? This is going to start how all games start. I go first. I've drawn my cards. And I've drawn mine. And boy, do I regret drawing them. I'm gonna set two cards face down and end my turn. Well, I draw. And I activate Flourishing Frolic. So, I activate the top cards of my deck equal the number of Flourishing Frolics in my graveyard, plus three. Oh. Okay. And if I activate at least one monster, one spell, and one trap, I add one of them to my hand and send the others to the grave. If I don't, they all get shuffled back in. Hey, that's potentially not terrible. So, I got a spell. spell. I got a- Mon Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
Ooh, one monster. And another monster. Okay. So if I'd gotten a monster spell and a trap, then I would have been able to add one to hand, but instead they all get shuffled back in and that's all that happens. <laughs> that's okay, Duelist. That was just... I was just testing you. But with the Lake Master. Yeah. I'll set one card face down and two cards in my back row. Your move. Let's draw for turn. Sure. All right, fine. Oh, I got a pass. I draw. Oops, I... Wow! <laughs> Sorry, Duelist. I lost track. <laughs> Normal summon my Infernity Wildcat. 1400 attack. I gotta take it. Your move. Draw for turn. I can special summon from my hand. Oh, you must be joking. The Fiend Mega Cyber. And then I'll normal summon my Dark Eye Nightmare. I'll have my Dark Eye Nightmare attack your Infernity Wildcat. No! And then the Fiend Mega Cyber, who's a warrior, attacks with 2200. No, you attack my Golem Sentry. I'll end my turn. Set a monster face down and a spell or trap card. Your move, duelist. Draw. I will enter the battle phase. You'll see. Attack okay. his face down. You attack my Defender of the Magical Knight. Yeah, Destroy. get. Move to the defense, though. Then my Nightmare attacks for 1700. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. What is that card, duelist? <laughs> what is it? I draw. I got something for you, but you're not gonna like it when I do it. Set a monster and pass my turn. Draw! I'll tribute! Are you gonna tribute all three monsters, Duelist? Both of these monsters for Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. Oh. It's got a lot of text on it. The Fiend Mega Cyber Attack. You attacked my Mutant GB88. Destroy. Oh, you said like it was gonna do something. <laughs> Then <laughs> Pharaonic Garden attack for 2300. No! And then in my second main phase, I'll activate his effect to flip face down. I draw! I set a monster. Draw for turn! Flip summon the Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx! And that activates effect, its effect to shuffle all your monsters into the deck. No! Get them! The Fiend Mega Cyber attack directly. You activated my trap card. What? No way. Chthonian Polymer. What the heck does that do? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, Duelist. Nah. But see, if you had played a little differently, I could have used my Resurgium Xyz. Um, how, how would I playing differently? Target a Link monster your opponent controls. I don't have any Links. Or, or my Resurgium Xyz. All my Xyz gain 800 attack. See, See I could have summoned- You drew one earlier. <laughs> <laughs> What's okay, Duelist? Even though you won today, it doesn't mean that I can't still make a comeback tomorrow. In the next- Wait, we get this again? <laughs> in the next random eBay duel challenge. If you guys like this video, make sure that you drop a like. Let us know if you want to see more complete bullshit like this. Yeah, uh, and you know, if you're thinking about buying something like this, uh, we'll put the link in the description and uh, tell you don't do it. D don't. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn. Pass turn.